Frisco train runs a mile a minute. That Frisco train runs a mile a minute. Running that old coach. I'm on my way to Frisco town. You can toot your whistle, you can ring your bell. You can toot your whistle, you can ring your bell. I know you've been running by the way you smell. I'm on my way. My name is uh, Steve Pegg, I'm a GP from Dundee and I've been with the railway now since I was a medical student. I'm now the Chief Mechanical Engineer, I'm responsible for maintaining the steam locomotives and, and a lot of the other engineering around the railway. The society was set up in 1979, uh, when the branch closed in 1982, um, the, the company was formed. The society uh, which supports the company has uh, about 180 members, of which are roughly about uh, 10 to 15 percent of are active members. On, on a busy day we've maybe got 25 to 30 members here. I'm here most most weekends, to be quite honest. Uh, it's very rare I'm not here, um, so it keeps me occupied. We run trains throughout various times of the year, limited to some extent by having to maintain them. Uh, we run every weekend uh, during the summer from uh, May through until the beginning of September. And uh, in amongst those are some special um, things. There's things like Thomas the Tank Engine Days, which are very popular. And we do evening trips, which is a uh, steam and stovies, which are some folk, folk music thrown in. At Christmas time, we do um, Santa trains, and Santa's on the train, he gives everybody a present. We run at Easter, and everybody gets an Easter egg. So it, it, it it's mostly kind of depends on the calendar. We, we don't run in you know, sort of in the autumn or early spring, because we haven't found that there's much market for it. But in addition to that, we've normally got the track pulled up at that stage for various repairs and things have been bits because there's a huge amount of maintenance that goes on in the background that's just not seen. I guess we would love eventually to get back to Montrose um, but I think that's probably not going to be the case for a good number of years. We've got a huge amount of things to do around here. We've uh, come on really quite considerably in the last few years. That one of our next major projects is going to be build a, a shed to, to, for the coach department to work in. They're mostly retired folks and they find that working out in the outside is difficult for them. Um, so we've been saving half the last few years and hopefully this winter we'll, we'll get a coach shed built. to see the range of locos improved and ideally um, the, the quality of the stock improved for the passengers there's we, we really like quite like a building at this station here but there's a huge amount of things that we need to do um, you know all governed by sort of time and, and especially income um, so you know it, it's, uh, there's nothing to nothing that we're not short of jobs to do <laughs> Take me back to one I love the best.